Folks, it is that time. We're going to do another update on AMC stock. We're going to break down the charts, talk about what I'm doing, and we're going to go over the court hearing, which uh, we got some more insight on that. So if you all find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo using that link down below. Once you open up an account, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. If you deposit at least 100 bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks. And listen to this. If you deposit at least 1000 bucks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stock so if you guys want some free money and you want to help out the channel use that link down below and now cheers let's dive into it so you guys can see amc stock has been creeping up over the past couple of days nothing crazy but it has clawed its way out from the mid fours now it's back over five bucks a share you can see just a couple of days ago when was this on monday i think yeah it was at four dollars and 64 cents and yesterday we popped to 534 and now we're coasting right around five dollars and 15 cents to about five dollars and 20 cents. In other words, guys, we are up a whopping 12% from the lows from Monday. Again, being 464, now we're at what? 520. Again, up 12%. Not too bad. And what I'm noticing on the five day, five minute chart, guys, it's not anything crazy, but we are seeing an ascending triangle forming on this pattern, or rather this time frame. You guys can see we've been making higher lows over the past couple of days. You guys can see here one low here, another low here, another low here, which was put in today, earlier today today at about $5.10. And at the same time, we've been seeing resistance at about $5.30. At least over the past two days, we've been seeing that resistance. Again, we peaked out at about 5.30 yesterday, and we hit that in the pre-market today and multiple times throughout the day today during the day. You guys can see we hit 5.30 at about 9.30 a.m. on the East Coast, and we hit it again at about 11.15 a.m. on the East Coast. That was about an hour, more than an hour ago, almost two, three hours ago at this point in time. So I'm noticing an ascending triangle on AMC here on the five day, five minute, which could be playing out. I mean, if this thing does take out 530, 535, $5.40, there could be a big breakout right around the corner on the stock. So I'm going to set my alert at $5.40. Mark is at or above, and we'll see where it goes in the short term. Again, if that breaks, there could be an explosion on our hands when it comes to AMC stock. And you all know, especially if you've been watching my videos as of late around AMC stock, we have have an inverse head and shoulders on the four hour chart. Look at that. If I pull up the oval tool, you guys will be able to see we have the left shoulder right here. We have the head right here. Boom, which was made right around, you know, when was that? The beginning of this month, right at about $3.60 to about $3.80. And now we have the right shoulder starting to play out right now. We have clear support at around $4.50 to about five dollars which is right by the neckline like we covered a couple of videos ago right you see that neckline it's clearly holding right now let me draw it out boom you guys see that so at this point guys again if we take out that 540 level and really if we start breaking past the mid fives and we start taking out the highs from earlier this month of uh, of april being about 570 that's where the right shoulder could really start to play out in this inverse head and shoulders on AMC. So again, my alert is set at 540. I just put another one at 570. Let's see if we really start to break out. And again, it all comes down to that ascending triangle on the five day, five minute, which if this plays out, we start breaking 530, 540, then we're talking on the four hour chart, the right shoulder would start to play out. And who knows where it could go from that point. It could really start to gain momentum, maybe towards six, seven, maybe even higher than that, six, seven dollars per share. It is possible. And if you guys have been tracking AMC stock, there's a lot going on right now between AMC and their ape units. And essentially we're, uh, we're, we're seeing a court hearing play out. We're going to be seeing it play out and we'll see whether or not these ape units will actually be converted into AMC shares. Let me actually pull up ape and see what in the world is going on with this right now. It's at about $1.39 right now. It's down roughly 2% on the day. So let's talk a little bit more about this court hearing and what could be happening moving forward with the stock. So you guys can see right here, any investors looking for a verdict on the AMC preferred shares resolution may now have their answer. You guys can see according to Seekin Alpha, a date has been set for a hearing on the subject between June 29th to June 30th, which at this point at the time that I'm making this video is just about two months away. And specifically it will be on AMC Entertainment's plan to convert ape units to common stock shares to generate equity because again they need cash guys they need money while amc stock is rising today ape has been trending downward all morning and it has been trending downward as, as you guys saw 
on the stock chart just a couple of minutes ago. Not not even a couple of minutes ago, right? And despite some early trading volatility, AMC stock remains in the green today, yada, yada, yada. We don't really have to get into that in this video. And you guys probably remember earlier this month, we saw a lot of volatility with AMC with Ape as the company failed to reach a settlement with the shareholders. And per Barron's, you guys can see right here, shareholders are suing AMC over its issuance of Ape units settled with the company earlier this week. But Delaware Chancery Court Vice Chancellor Morgan T. Zern denied a request by the shareholder group to lift a status quo order. And the order temporarily prevented AMC from following through on measures approved by its stockholders last month that would increase its common stock or uh, authorization, convert Ape shares into common shares, and reverse split every 10 AMC, uh, AMC shares M21. And of course, again, that was temporary prevented recently by what what's his name again? Morgan T. Zern. He denied the request a couple of weeks ago. And following this news, AMC stock soared as Ape plunge. And now these patterns are repeating as AMC looks toward finally seeing the matter resolved. And you guys can see here a little bit more insight. Vice Chancellor Morgan T. Zern declined to schedule a settlement hearing at a teleconference early Tuesday. That was yesterday, citing the unusually high degree of investor interest in the case. And it seems like here Morgan T. Zern is a woman. That's my fault. I said man earlier in the video. Either way, she asked the company and the investors leading the case to agree on a date in late June tentatively suggesting June 29th or June 30th, like I said earlier in this video. She said, I'm open to getting this wrapped up by the end of June, but I think it's going to be almost impossible to do this in less than 60 days, given the stockholder interest that we anticipate, Zern said. And I'm not inclined to speed it up at the cost of notice to stockholders. And you guys can see here, they're hearing Tuesday in Delaware's Chancery Court came a day after Zern said she would appoint a special master to grapple with a tidal wave of shareholder letters flooding the case docket since the proposed settlement was disclosed on April 3rd and the letters as you guys can imagine overwhelmingly urged the judge to reject the deal which was approved by a wide margin at a March 14th shareholder meeting. The agreement worth $100 million at trading prices when it was announced would give each owner of common stock an additional class A share for every seven and a half shares that they actually hold and because the case is a class action the PAC requires court approval to ensure it's fair to outside parties such as other investors. The court views these letters as suggestive that it may receive a far higher number of objections to the forthcoming proposed settlement than it receives in a typical case, Zern wrote on Monday. And considering the likelihood that the high level of stockholder engagement will persist, the court views preemptive action as necessary. And for those that didn't know, each Abe unit represents one one hundredth of a preferred share, so they're theoretically equivalent to the Class A stock, but they've tended to trade at a steep discount due to uncertainty about whether the share limit increases would ever be authorized. And the gap has fluctuated drastically in recent weeks based on developments in the court case. And the lawsuit accuses AMC of illegally letting ape holders, including Enterra Capital, which owns 30% of the preferred units, participate in the conversion vote. Delaware's corporate laws generally require each class of shareholders to separately approve any changes that would diminish their rights. That includes dilution, the suit says. And AMC also wrongfully supercharged the apes by directing a stock deposit depository company to vote all 10 million preferred shares proportionately based on actual votes cast according to the lawsuit which was brought by a pension fund and two other shareholders and class a investors meanwhile allegedly had to participate if they wanted their votes counted so yeah guys that's some more insight on what's going on right now and again zern asked the company and the investors leading the case to agree on a date in late june tentatively suggesting june 29th or june 30th we shall see and again guys, I can't say it enough. You have to watch the inverse head and shoulders on the four hour chart here. And you have to watch the ascending triangle on the five day, five minute for short term direction. So we can see what direction we end up picking. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Mumu. It is literally free money guys. Open up an account using that link down below and you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And if you deposit at least a hundred bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks and listen to this. This. If you deposit at least a thousand bucks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks, guys. It's free money and it also helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And if you guys like the way I break down stocks, charts, my ideas, check out my Patreon down below. You get more access to me.
me throughout the day. You get all my charts and ideas throughout the day. You get access to the Patreon portfolio and the Discord chat, plus more. Again, that's on Patreon down below. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I'll see you later.